Hi Stampers, welcome to Stampers Club today. Today we are going to make a really cute little simple, very simple Christmas and Happy New Year card. I love the way these colors came out together. So I had the uh, Frosted Frames dies, which I thought were just absolutely beautiful. And today I paired it up with the itty bitty Christmas stamp set because all I was looking for was a simple greeting. And I chose the Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, but I think any one of these would be just really cute in this set. And then I also used the Feels Like Frost designer paper that was part of this suite. And this paper, let me tell you, is just absolutely stunning. One side is all silver and white foil. But the flip side, look at these images. They're just absolutely stunning. They just, they just kind of like make the card all by themselves. I mean, you just don't even need to use a whole lot, of, whole lot of extra stuff. They can just be part of the whole card and a nice little greeting and you could have a whole bunch of really quick and easy cards that comes in a package of 48 six by six pieces. So you could super easy get 48 cards instantly with just that pattern paper and a simple little greeting. And then the extra piece that you cut off, you can use for decorating another set of 48 cards. So that's actually pretty cool. But let me show you how I got this card put together. Okay. So I used um, some sea uh, yeah, Seaside Spray cardstock. And this is a half of a sheet. So it's five and a half by eight and a half. And I am simply going to just, oh, gonna fold. It doesn't want to doesn't want to work with me. Okay, so I'm just going to fold this in half. I could have scored it, scored it, but you know this is just as easy. So we just have our little card base here, and then I have a piece of smoky slate, which is five and a quarter by four. That I got to find my snail that I'm just going to attach to the front of this. This is just my standard, you know, half inch shorter in each direction. Gives you a nice matting. And then I just selected this pretty pattern of the designer paper and I cut it at five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. And that's what's making up the background of that. Whoops. And look, look how this just like makes a super stunning card all by itself, you know, just a simple little greeting on there, you know, and you could have a really quick and easy card too. Something just that you wanted to fly out the door with it. And then for some of the elements that I did, I get some big shot stuff going here. Not that one yet. And I used this frame piece here. And then on some silver foil, I used some extra little leaves and the snowflakes and then I also use the snowflakes on the glimmer flake the sparkle glimmer paper um, sometimes it helps if you cut it from the back side there's like a little plastic backing on this so it makes it a little harder to cut you have to go through it a few times if you want to do it from the front so you could do it from the back it's a little bit quicker but also when I do this in the big shot I run it through one way and then I turn it 90 degrees and run it through again when there's this many cuts and pieces like little puzzle pieces, it helps to go through the big shot in two different directions. It just kind of flexes in different spots. So let's get these cut. And we end up with that nice piece in the background, the little glimmer snowflakes, silver snowflakes. And then we end up with these two little silver leaves, okay? And, uh, oh, I wasn't supposed to tie that together, but I did anyway. So we'll use um, some of the Seaside Spray ribbon. And we'll get that ribbon tied all the way around. On my sample, I did it before I glue this all together, but this works just as well. And we'll get a, get a bow on here. Doesn't really matter where your bow starts out at because we can slide it around the uh, the card once we get it where how big we want it. And I don't have this one too big. I have it pretty tight and small. Oh, let me go that a little tighter there on that side. Clip that end. 
And so you can kind of slide this up and down and side to side so you can kind of position it after the fact where you need it to be. Because what I did with this is I did slide this underneath this ribbon and then slid it over. So let's get some tape on the back of that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna kind of tuck that in under there so that it slides along. And then I'm gonna go right to the edge of the paper and I'm gonna kind of center from here and here. I'm gonna kind of center that up so it's kind of in the middle of the card. And then this is just kind of tucked off to the side, okay? Then I'm going to add some of these silver foil pieces behind there. You could do them first. Um, if you noticed, I didn't tape real close to the edges when I added my tape here so that I could lift this a little bit. And I just kind of added a little background there. I'm using my uh, silicone mat. It makes it so that the tape doesn't really stick to everything. And the same with this, oh, it was this way. I'm just gonna lift that up and kind of line it up just so that it's just kind of shadowing these little, uh, these little elements that are already on that part. Just gives it a little bit more sparkle. And then for our greeting, I used blueberry bushel ink. I know it's kind of an odd combination, but it was a little bit lighter of a blue. Navy sometimes is really dark, and I didn't want anything quite as dark. So we're going to get that just kind of stamped right in the middle there. And we're going to cut it out with this. Okay. Let's get that cut out. And then we have this really cute little shape. I love how this shape kind of layers up with these other, with the, with the framing that's already as part of that. That I did put on some dimensionals. You know me, I gotta have dimension. So we'll get a couple dimensionals on there. And get that right tucked in underneath my card, kind of right in the middle. And then for my snowflakes, these are just glued straight down. So I'm gonna get the silver ones and get, again, the tape. When you use the tape on there, it tends to only stick to the uh, paper that you want, not anything extra. I'm just gonna add one over here and the other one I'm gonna put down here, and then my glimmer paper ones, I'm just going to offset. I'm gonna match up the large to the small. These are not on dimensionals, they're just kind of stuck right down. And then the same here, I'm gonna match up the small one with the large one and just kind of offset it. It gives it just a little more shimmer and shine. But look how fast that was. I mean, and this paper just really kind of makes that card happen all by itself. I mean, this is one where you could certainly get a whole bunch of them and pop out your, you know, kind of bam out your Christmas cards all in one little afternoon. So it's actually pretty quick and fun. If you have any questions, feel free to make a comment or email me at karen at stampersclub.com. I'm glad you enjoyed being with me today. I certainly had lots of fun. And be sure to come back another day and see what kind of fun projects I have to show you then. Have a great day. Bye.